Michelle, welcome to my channel, Grateful Creations. Well, look at all the drips I got off of that painting yesterday. I'm not sure I'm gonna use this today, but I do have a lot of leftover paints, um, the color arts, and I'm going to show you guys the difference um, between sandwiching the um, color art pigments between two coats of pearl mix and just putting down the the, the color art pigments and then going over it. You get a, um, a deeper, your colors turn out deeper. So these are obviously, they have a skin on them too. So I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna go ahead and This is the blue black from Atelier. I don't think I'm going to use all the colors, but a good amount of them. Oh, there's the skin. <laughs> now there's more. Oh, it's a big skin. Huge. Oh my gosh. All right, I think I got it all out. And there's the skin. Um, what else do I want to put in there? Oh, this is pretty much done. Yeah, that was the dragon wings. See what happens when you leave your paints out and you don't cover them? I guess I'll get rid of them, eh? I guess I am using them. As you can see, I'm not putting them in any particular order. And we can still create something beautiful. I know it doesn't look like much right now. I'm gonna keep some back just in case. All right, so I'm gonna, ooh, there's a big skin. Lordy, lordy, that was kind of a bad idea. No worries, it's not gonna hurt anything. This um, technique is so forgiving. Just moving all the paints. Oops. There might be some blobs in there. I'll try and get them out. This is blobby. All right, so now I'm just gonna throw my, oh gosh, too much of the color in my hands. Let's see what we get. There we go. go back and forth pretty much. I see a big blob. A couple big blobs. It's okay. I never get sick of this. It's too much fun. And you always get pretty good results, you know? no matter what. Oh, also, I wanted to let you guys know that I am offering FaceTime 
lessons. If you're interested, just give me a shout. I also have my website up. It's G, um, ooh, look at that. Oh, I almost wanna leave it. You know what, I might just. Remember I told you guys I was gonna leave it one of these days? This might be the day. Holy Toledo. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my gosh. I am gonna leave it for a while and see what happens and I'll put you guys on time lapse. After I find, oh geez please. I kind of ruined that, didn't I? It's never ruined. You can always fix it. Everything's fixable. Wow. I am like in awe. Okay, I'm going to take some of this color and put it right here. Whoops. A bit more white. And see what comes of this. This is like kind of cool. I love experimenting. Even if it's <laughs> experimenting that I wasn't really expecting. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. Let's just leave it. See what happens. I can see some stuff happening already. What do you think, guys? Should I blow it? This would be way too easy, <laughs> right? <gasps> Let's just see what happens. What the heck? This was a um, canvas that got scraped. I can always add to it with some, um, oh my gosh. You know, and I was going to put um, some cell activator on this to see if it, that would, what would it would do, but I think I'm just gonna leave this right like that. All right, I'm putting you on time lapse. Okay guys, <clears throat> so this is what happens when you put pearl mix over top of color art. Um, yeah, I put my finger in it because there was a blob there, so I created a, like a little sun kind of thing, but I wanted it to be really minimalistic because of all of this. Are you kidding me? Look at that. Oh, the, um, camera focused right so you can see all the color blending just crazy yeah so had I put the pearl mix on the bottom and then put this on top um, you might have seen some pearls but you're not gonna see pearls with this Is that cool <laughs> yeah and I fiddled with this so much I'm gonna move this piece because I want to do some more painting and I'll check it out in the morning to see if it's dry and I'll give you a dried result so please be safe and create please like share and subscribe ciao for now guys not all experiments go well <laughs> look at all that curdling the yuck. 
it's cracking and splitting all over the place oh my goodness so should have blown it out oh well can't do anything about it now it's too dry to do anything and too wet to do anything but it was a nice experiment and that's something now I know god it would have been so nice if it would have dried perfectly oh well back to the drawing board <laughs>